So this is our part three of systems of linear equations, and I'm going to actually just focus on one example. So for this system, so matrix form will be this form, where A is my coefficient matrix. And x is my variable vector, and b is my constants on the right, constant vector. Of course, that's a x equals b. So we can show it either way, with the line or without the line. So remember that. So that would be our solution for our x, y, z. So our x would be 9, y is negative 4, and 2 is equal to z is a solution. So to check it, we can just, we can go up here and just plug it in for x, y, z for each of them. Or we can be a little bit more advanced here, and this dot this is equal to 3. This x, y, z is the solution dot should that equal to 3? It should satisfy the first equation. True, so that's an equation for our first. Our second equation is this dot our vector is equal to the 16. And then our last is this dot this is equal to 9. That was our first equation. Our second equation. Yep, that's true. And our third, 1, 1, 2, it's equal to 9, the last one. So 1 times 9, and we can just see there. Since that satisfied all three equations, is a solution. Of course, we still don't know if it's the only solution or if it's one of many solutions. So we are going to look at solving this equation. To do that, I'm going to explain what elementary row operations are. The first elementary row operation is we can multiply any row by a non-zero constant. We'll call it k. So we write that as k-r-i. i will be what the first row, second row, third row, whatever. And that becomes the new r-i. We can exchange any two rows. So basically, we write that as Ri can be exchanged with Rj. And our third one. So we can add a multiple of one row to another row. In another section, we, we're going to be doing more with elementary row operations. So we want to be careful we know what our elementary row operation is. One operation at a time, elementary. So this is exactly what it says, k, you can go k times one row and add it to any other row, and then we will make it the jth row, okay? That's the jth row. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go back to that last example. Just copy it. Same example as above. And we want to think about how we want to solve this algebraically and do the elementary row operation to it to solve it algebraically. So the first thing I want to do is I want to zero this out right here. So if I want to zero that out, I can just basically, you can just say subtract the two rows, but really what we're doing is we're going to add minus row one plus row three, and we're going to replace it into row three. So I'm not going to write this out everything. This will look like this minus r1 plus row 3 to row 3. So again, this is this number 3. Add a multiple of one row, which is minus row 1, to another into that one, to, into that same one. So we'll do that to both sides. Over here, we're not changing the first equation, or the second is not changing. The only one's changing is 3. So we have to do it up here. 
it's minus x plus x is 0x, okay? Minus 2 plus y, minus 2y plus y is minus y. Minus z plus 2z is plus z. I'm going to do it here too, both sides. Minus 3 plus 9 is 6. And so this augmented, and again, we could have done it here too. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 2 is 1. Minus 3 plus 9 is 6. Let's keep doing this until we solve it. So this order, getting a 0 here and then a 0 here, is a great order to solving the system. So to do that, to get the second 0 here, to get this to 0 that out, I can take minus 2 row 1 plus row 2 to row 2. Minus 2x plus 2x will be 0x in that spot. That's what we want. So the only one row I'm changing, one row at a time, is row 2. That's changing to row 2. The other two rows are staying the same. Again, same with here. So those two rows are spared, and so it's our second row. Minus x, whoops, sorry, minus 2x plus x is 0x. Minus 2 plus 1, so minus 2 row 1, minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3y. Minus 2 plus 1z. Got to do it for this too. Minus 6 plus 16. And so our last one is 0, minus 3, minus 1, 10. Now that we have these are zeros, we basically have these two equations, two unknowns. So I'm going to zero this one out. Notice the order that I'm doing this in. So to zero this out, looks like I could do minus, no, not minus, yeah, minus 3. We need them to be opposites. So minus 3, row 3, plus row 2, 2, row 3. I do want us to notice, I'm allowed to do this to solve, but this is not an elementary row operation. It doesn't fit into that, but it does work to solve. I can go through flipping these two lines and then make it an, an elementary row operation. So this is kind of two steps. But because these are not the same, it's not elementary. It's not k times one row added to another to that row, because those would have to be the same. These are not the same, so it's not elementary. It does work, though, in solving. Here, we're basically only changing these, the row three. So the first two rows are spared. Minus three row three plus row two to row three, it's still zero. Minus 3 row 3 is positive 3y plus 3y is 0y. That's what we expected to get. Minus 3 row 3 is minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. Works here too. Minus 3 row 3 plus row 2 is minus 4. One more. Minus 18 plus 10 is minus 8. Looks like we could divide, if we want to erase these, we could. We could divide or multiply by one fourth. Looks like we can go. So we're just dividing this by negative four. We're dividing this by negative four. Okay, I'm, I can see I can get a zero here now. I'm gonna do that. I can, cancel these out basically. So I'm just going to add the two. So row three plus row two to row two. So we're only changing row two. Oops, that's 12. So we're adding these two, we're adding these two, and we're adding these two and putting them into this row. And then we don't need this. And now we can see we want to 
go minus one third times row two to row two. So basically just divide this row by negative three. Oh, that was a negative four actually. It's negative one third, negative four. Now I think I'd like to zero this out. So to zero that out, I focus on these two. Minus two row two plus row one to row one. We'll zero that out right there. We'll put a zero there. So minus two plus eight. 9, 10, 11. And again, we don't need that there, so I'm going to erase that. And last but not least, these two can be zeroed out. Going minus row 3 plus row 1 to row 1. Oops, forgot to work on that one. So minus row 3 minus 2 plus 11 is 9, and that can be gone. So we get 1, 0, 0. So we can see here, this is our solution that we had before, and it turns out that this is the only solution to this system. And this is the reduced row echelon form. Next section. Basically, you have this diagonal of ones and zero everywhere. And this happens to be, when you have that, this is our solution for each. And that's it for the first section. Thanks for watching.